Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Grimpie, and this is Let's Play Banjo Tooie Part 30. Alright, so last time we got a quite a bit done, used the transformation to get quite a few jiggies, as well as used Mumbo to get to, um, well, the area that we're at right now. Alright, now you see that, uh, that chute that I went through. That actually sends me back over here in case, um, for some reason, you went down this little hallway's mumbo, and thus would not be able to hit the switch down here. So there you have that. Now today, I'm gonna get a very difficult jiggy out of the way. Over here on floor four. Really, it's so high on floor four, it really is practically floor five at that point, but, uh, regardless, it's way up here. Gonna need these claw climbers. Let's go. I'm Spider-Man! Anyway, here we go. The sewer access. Yeah, the sewer is really high on floor five. Four of the building. I don't know what's where that the, where that stuff is going. All right, let's just pick up some eggs here. Now I'm sure you can all already tell that this is going to be another shooting range area. And let me tell you, this one not easy. The clinkers. Well, here we go. Named after uh, the level in Banjo-Kazooie, Clinker's Cavern, here we have Clinker's Cavern. These little turd things on the air vents, those are Clinker's. It's a good idea to have your Dragon Kazooie form around here, as uh, it, the fire eggs, will you'll have infinite of them. That, um, that was certainly a way to say that, yes. Here we go. Now, I've never actually done this without, like, a guide or something, well, guiding me. And, um, hopefully I'll be able to do it now. <laughs> I've seen somebody do it in, like, 69 seconds. I'm not gonna be that fast. No, no, not, not fast at all, probably. If you're hearing little farting noises, then that means that a clinker is nearby. Sometimes it's kind of hard to aim with Kazooie here. I don't know, something about the sensitivity of the Xbox 360 controller just doesn't seem quite right. Especially whenever trying to aim up and down. That'll become really annoying later on, and I'm trying to get into here, but that's not working. There's a guy up there. And there's a guy behind me. And there's an actual guy behind me, okay. Alright, so only eight to go. Let's see here. That's good. Of course, whenever it, it, it's just, you know, the last couple that are gonna be difficult. Aha, I still hear farting. Ah, there it is. Okay, no more farting. Good. No farting in here. I'll just fall. Aha! I hear some farting nearby. Where? But it's up here. Nope. Lost track of it. Okay, maybe up here. Homing eggs! Yeah, that, that was great. Aha! There you are! Okay, four more. A minute to go. Let's see if I can make this happen. I just have to keep moving and search whenever I hear noises. Hmm. Aha. There! Oh, ow. Come on, come on, Kazooie, hit it. Hit this, hit the, there we go. Alright, now it should be noted that whenever time runs out, you aren't actually ejected from the shooting range. Instead, um, you'll start losing air and eventually die. And dying is exactly the same as being ejected from the shooting range. 
and you lose air fast. Still, if it's like there's just one more clinker going after you, the uh, the last bit of air that you have can save you. Aha, here's another one. Okay, and um, yeah, now I'm about to die. Come on, there's only one more to go. Darn it. Come on. Where is he? There he is! Got him! Oh my gosh, I just did it. I just frickin' did it! Wow. I... Wow. So yes, there we go, folks. The first time that I've legitimately beaten this one. <sighs> oh my gosh. I remember the first time that I beat it, I had this special cheat on called Honey King. It makes it so that you can't ever lose health. So, I, I basically gave myself infinite amounts of time to uh, explore this area. Now, this is based off of... Um, a multiplayer map for uh, a couple different first-person shooter games. I believe that one of them is GoldenEye 007. Now, I never really play first-person shooter games at all, so I wouldn't know how this place is set up from experience. Which is why it's really hard for me to figure this stuff out. <laughs> anyway... That was a nice jiggy right there. All right, let's let's get out of here. The sewer isn't any place for a bear. It's more like a plumber. Okay. Now there is another jiggy that we can get up here at floor four, and I do believe that I'll be uh, getting it here in a minute. Yes, it's through this door. Or, well, I guess it's not really a door, but you get the idea. We're gonna need a battery. So, let's get on it. Now, there are a variety of batteries still flying about. Or, well, I guess bouncing about would be a, a more correct term. And, um, there's one in particular that's kind of out of the way. And I believe that I'll be getting that one this time around. So first of all, let's go to floor 3 where some good split-up pats are. I could just... no wait, I already used that battery, never mind. Alright. This done. Oh, hamsters, I have like... Two health, let's, let's fix that. Here we go. That's much better. Let's make sure that Kazooie has health, too, because, I mean, really, that's just bad. <laughs> Here we go. Much better. Alrighty, then. Onward to floor two, and you're gonna... Yeah, you're, you did that. Moving onward. Yes, the battery is on this floor. It's actually guarded by some tin tops, which makes it rather annoying to obtain. Yes, this way. Don't want to get zappified, that would be bad. Unfortunately, you can't stop the shocks. And I don't even need those anymore, what am I doing? And I don't need those either. Anyway... Here we go! It's battery time! And now to make our way back up to floor four. We hear our happy Skivvy buddy helped him out. Much appreciated, I'm sure.
really, for a long time, Grundy Industries was actually my favorite level in the game. Because of its, well, complexity and the stuff like this that you have to do. It's a really great world, they put a lot of thought into it, and, um, in general, it's one of the best levels in the Banjo-Kazooie series as a whole, I'd say. Even if it is a little bit annoying at times. Now, up here, we're going to have another really tough Jiggy. In fact, Floor 4 is just really tough in general. <laughs> here we go. We are going to need Kazooie for this, so... Let's do this. It's the Cable Room! A popular character from the Marvel Comics series. No. <laughs> anyway. Of course, you're always going to want to be on this, like, little walkway to the left over here, rather than on the conveyor belt. You're going to want to make sure that you have plenty of grenade eggs getting into this area. Alright, so this is why they called it the Cable Room. Don't touch the cables, they hurt you. Despite the fact that many of these cables look completely insulated, they aren't. Ah yes, the extractor fan. Not required. Okay, so, you uh, hear a Jinjo down there, that's a Minjo, ignore him. Occasionally, you'll see a little barrel that's it, that has the Rareware symbol on it. That's, uh, that's what you need to hit. Hitting the, uh, barrels with the Toxic symbol on them will cause Toxic Gas to fill the room. If you thought that the Toxic Gas in Clinker's Cavern killed you fast, well, this kills you even faster. Ludicrously fast, even. And out there. Yeah, that's good. As you hit the rare uh, barrels, the conveyor belt will be going faster. And the barrels won't be as far apart anymore, making it more difficult to hit the rare barrel each time. Oh, yeah! Never missed! Well, I mean, I guess I missed, but I never hit the wrong one. Now, one way of getting that Jiggy over there is to um, go into your washing machine form and then uh, go through the door over there. But that would take a bunch of time, and I'm not really wanting to bother with all that. So, here's the way the cool kids do it. Not like that. There we go. Yeah, just collect it with this guy. Where'd it go? There it is! Uh-oh. Minjo woke back up. <laughs> anyway, that, um, that went surprisingly well. <laughs> of course, if you did hit one of the toxic barrels, you would have to come back out, and you would have to hit this switch over here. But, uh, didn't need to do that. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, this room is pretty dark, and it can get tough figuring out what you're doing. Fortunately, there isn't really anything over that way. So you don't need to worry about that. Now, what to do next? Hmm. Well, I think I'm gonna go fight the boss, actually. Let me just check real quick. If I have seven jiggies. Yes, I do. All right, it is time to fight the boss. This conveyor belt is awesome whenever it's taking you where you need to go. 
Alright, so, getting to the boss, tough. Real tough. I've set up a lot of stuff for it. I described all the stuff in, like, either the last video or the video before that. So, here we go. Onward to getting Mumbo again. Yes. Now, this boss that's coming up, he's one of my favorite bosses. And generally, one of the hardest bosses in the game. Alright. You are going to need this gate open for several characters to pass through, actually. Watch out for barrels. In general, in this level, barrels will want to kill you. And toxic gas will want to kill you. In fact, just everything's gonna want to kill you. So, here we go, the EMP. It's gonna stop that magnet from messing us up. All right, it'll be up in 90 seconds. That means that we have a minute and a half to work with. Not a whole lot of time. So we're gonna have to go back over to Banjo and Kazooie. And get our watching machine form. It's interesting how they um, combine the abilities of Mumbo and Wumba in these later levels. Such as with um, Pterodactyland. With uh, Mumbo having to enlarge the wigwam so that your T-Rex form will become very big. Oh. Alright, here we go. Let's go! Washing machine powers activate! Alright, still another 50 seconds or so. Yeah, um, I think that will be good. I think that we'll be able to handle this in a superb fashion. There we go! Oh, and there's the last of the notes down there, of course. Now, of course, if we hadn't turned off the magnet, it would have pulled us away from the button. We wouldn't have been able to hit it. And, uh, well, that door to the final... not the final boss, the, the boss of this area would not be open. Alright, so it's time for you guys to see pretty much the one place that I haven't been to in this world yet. And that is the basement. Of course, the reason why I haven't been to the basement yet is because there isn't really anything there until now. So, let's do this. Well, I guess it's not really the basement, it's the air conditioning plant, but it's... It's downstairs, anyway. Let's just grab these. Awesome Nessity. This wire is very useful right here. Alright, folks. This has been it for this episode. Next time, I'm going to take on one of the hardest bosses of the game. So you folks stay tuned, alright? See y'all later. <laughs>